really need a break. Shen, I'm back. That was quick. Yeah, it's nothing serious. A woman on the 30th floor said she heard a large explosion in the nearby apartment. I went and checked, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. Come here last time. You're working more and more efficiently. I guess if you keep this up, I might just let you take on the full night's patrol. Shen, I don't think I could do that. I mean, I'm already tired from my training every day. And all the requests I've received so far are pretty easy to resolve. Plus, I don't think I can stay in a full night's patrol. I need my two hours of sleep. I'm just teasing you. Now, onto some more serious matter. Here's some paperwork you need to fill out. Ugh, I hate paperwork. We all hate it, but it's part of the job. I have nothing left to do. Guess I'll just fill them in now. Oh yeah, Shin! Just now I spotted some loiterers around the alley outside again. Seems like the usual bunch. I'll look into that. Sin here is not making me any more productive. Thanks, Shen! Excuse me, sirs. Should you be back home? Go away, man. Hey, this is my job, and I can't have punks let you loiter around at night. So I'm giving you a chance to leave before I call them. I was gonna give you one chance to leave, but it looks like I have no choice but to resort to brute force. Oh yeah! No! Get away from me! Get get away! Dusk a kunai, briskly flown, and hit a teen his back so sudden. In much due agony, his crimes atone. It's gonna be one hell of a concussion. I should take them in for questioning. What happened, Shen? These two punks attempted to assault me outside the alleyway. They're both knocked out, but none of their wounds are serious. Should we call the cops? No, these two seems to be just normal teenagers. Let me check their IDs. Here we go. Simon Jackson, 17, male. Let's see. Current student at Sussex High. I suppose a picture of him with his mom. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. There's this receipt in his wallet. Kunai's, purchased from the Blade Company. I really need to pay him a visit, huh? Um, Shen? 
Rookie, here's their cell phones. Check for any guns you can call and have these boys picked up. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Where are you going? To meet an old friend. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me! Yes? It's John here. The boss not here. Who the hell might you be? Oh, you must be new here. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Shen, a security guard from the tower. Kurt, warehouse manager. Why are you here? I came to see John. Our boss not here at the moment. What do you want? Well, I found some teenagers that purchased some products from you guys, and they are causing a ruckus with them. That does not seem like something you need to tell him personally. Excuse me? What I'm saying is that you should scram. I don't care about your complaint. We got a lot of work to do today, so you should just go. Really? Is that how you normally treat your customers? You ain't one, so leave. Well, I'll just ignore you and wait for John to come back. Look, I don't play jokes here. Leave, or I'll leave a mark on you. Are you trying to pick a fight? I'll gladly take on it if you're requesting it. You? How are you even gonna fight? I've been up bigger and tougher guys than you. Size doesn't matter. Ah, bullshit. I bet you can't even lay a scratch on me. Really? On what basis? That? You're a security squat face. Oh, please, don't overdo it with the petty insult. Security asset is a much better one if you're trying to offend me. Don't you fucking patronize me. Sorry about that. No, I am serious. You gotta use a gun like a coward? Let me tell you, I'm bulletproof. No, no, no. Of course not. That's for me. Arcana. What is this? What is this power? Marikana, the manifestation of my soul. Inferno, the burning blacksmith. Inferno. Inferno, would you kindly heat up the room? Ah, I can't breathe. I'm burning. I'm, I'm burning. Oh! Uh, uh. Stop! J just please stop! You said you wanted to fight. Now, Inferno! Hey guys, I'm back! Sorry it took a while. Language pretty long and the- Sh Shed, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, hi, John. Get your Arcana out of here right now! You're gonna kill my workers! Fine, fine. What the fuck happened? I left for 15 minutes just to get dinners from Maccas, and Shen showed up, summoned his arcana, and almost burned the entire fucking warehouse down! 
Well, your manager challenged me to a fight. What? I'm sorry, boss. I I'll take responsibility for that. Kurt, it it's my fault. I didn't tell you, but you listen to me. Never challenge Shen to anything. As long as I know him, he's an egotistical maniac. That's rude. And he goes overboard with everything he does. Also, why are you here? Oh yeah, I need to talk to you. One of your stores have sold some replica tunas to some teenagers, and let's say they're not handling it with care. Ugh. I told them not to sell to kids. I I'll look into it as soon as I can. Um, but boss Why are you still standing here? We got a lot of stocks that we still have to shelf, so get them moving! Ugh. I really need a break. Doesn't all of us. So, how are the sales go? It went pretty well this year, actually. We bought rights to produce swords from a popular TV show, got to sponsor a local football match, and uh, had a few new clients. Clients as in from the mob. How do you know this? You've always been dealing with shady people. I could just put two and two together. Look, a mob family is interested in partnership because they want some custom sword made for the museum. It's nothing illegal. Sure. I mean, many of the local mobs are trying to get out of crime after they realize how much more they could be making from a legitimate business. Well, as legal as pyramid schemes could be. I mean, five families started selling herbal supplements since last year. It won't go in. Try from the side. It won't from the side. Then ram the cargo harder. It won't if it works, Derek! Look, you just have to put the fork deep inside it and commit. I am! Oh! I have to get back to work. If I don't supervise these idiots for one second, they're gonna break everything before reaching the shelves. I need to get back to my post too. 450, just in time. Well, goodbye. Hey, see ya, man. Shin, you're back! I got those boys to call the guardians and had them picked up 15 minutes ago. I told them that we'd let them go this time, but if it happens again, we'll get the cops. Good job, Roki. Anything else came up? Nope, the night is quiet as ever. Uh, so who is this acquaintance of yours? John, the CEO of the Blake Company? Yeah, passed a message about their products getting in the hands of teenagers. They say they will handle it. I never did like them. They always are doing something shady. True. But they are a first line of defense in case shit hits the fan. Right. And I keep thinking this is just some normal security job. I need my two hours sleep about now. I can take over the rest of your shift. You did a good job tonight. By the way, I am serious about you doing a full night's patrol. Really? I'll supervise you during that. It'll be fun. I doubt it. <sighs> it's fine, nice having someone to talk to. Doing this job solo for tankers really did put a strain on me, didn't it? Well, at least now I have a person that can help me deal with the bullshit that comes with this job. There's really no rest for the weary, isn't it? Awake early. 
Yeah, we got a early flight to catch. That's why we have the suitcase. Well, have a good flight. As my dad always say, bon voyage. It's just a one day trip. We'll be back tonight. And I'll be here, still working the night shift. Yeah, say, what do you do exactly as a security guard? We do mostly patrols, deal with complaints, and file paperwork. I thought it would be a more intense job. Well, that's the difference between expectation and reality. In the end, it's a pretty normal job, huh? Right, you could say that.